PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. How are we all going today? Now the beautiful day here in paradise. I might go down the beach later and do a bit of surfing or swimming or sink or something silly. <laughs> anyway guys, what I'm going on today about is can I run this big frame nailer on this little compressor over here? Will it actually stand up to the job? How many shots can we get out of this with that? Or will it even work at all? Anyway guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. We have a bit of a yarn. And let's get into it. So before we get too carried away, guys, I'll just get this running and we'll stop it at the maximum, which I think is set to about just over 90 PSI. <laughs> There guys, we're at 90, about 100 PSI I think it is guys, so we'll stick with that. And we'll set the regulator guys to about 70 PSI, I think that's about the minimum that nailer can run. So we're on about 70 there guys, and just let the air out for a second just to give it a tweak to make sure it settles properly. So there was 60, so we need to just come up a little bit to get it to 70. There we go guys, 70 PSI. So guys, this is quite a big frame nailer. Uh, it's cheap, of course it's cheap because I bought it. I wasn't buying anything that wasn't cheap. I think it was about 120 bucks online. And the old compressor over there, that's cheap as well. I think that was about 159, 160. So we'll see if we can combine the two and actually get them to work. Or maybe we need a big huge compressor. Let's have a go. Now these nails here guys are almost 4 inch, they are framing nails, they're classed as framing nails, that's what I built my son's outdoor living space with, or sleep out or whatever you want to call it, and I actually use this gun as well, but I used a bigger compressor to do it, I can show you that later too if you want to have a quick squiz at that, but anyway we'll stick this in the gun and uh, we'll see how we go. And then watch it when you're playing with these things guys because they're friggin lethal. Push them up like so. Right, got a good block of wood here. So if you guys keep an eye on those gauges over there, you'll be able to see how many shots I get before it starts up again. And what I'll do actually once it starts, I'll keep shooting the nails out to see if it'll actually stop. So I can, in other words, so I can keep up with the air. Right, let's give it a go. To show you guys that it is actually nailing, look. You wouldn't want your finger stuck on that, would you? <laughs> How many is that? Not too bad for a little flat ass compressor is it? I didn't count them but I reckon we got about 15 shots before it started and then I could still do my shots while it was running but you wouldn't want it running all the time because you'll probably burn the little thing out. But to do 15 shots before it started again I reckon that's quite good for the simple reason when you're putting up framing guys you don't do 15 shots all at once. You're holding your framing and then you're, you're moving it around, jiggling it around and getting it square or whatever you're doing then you're firing your gun and then you're getting another one and then you're firing that so you're actually building as you're going along. So you're not going to do 15 shots in a row anyway. Well, that's my theory. And I didn't do that either when I built my little sleep out outside. Because like I say, you're just pissing around, getting your angles right and all the rest of it. So in Pete's humble opinion, I think a little compressor like that will work. Especially if you're only doing DIY around home. So why spend six or $700 on a bloody compressor if you can only spend 199 That's my theory anyway. And I'm sticking to it. Rightio guys, what we'll do now is I'll show you a little staple gun and we'll see how long that goes before this thing clicks on again. Rightio guys, now we've got a little pin stapler thing here or whatever you want to call it. It's ideal for doing skirting board or architrave or that sort of thing. That's a big word for me isn't it? Architrave. <laughs> anyway, it fires these things guys. They're about two and a half, three inches long. They're like pins. They're not exactly staples because they don't go round but they just sort of have it like a pin. Anyway, Pete, you already said they're like pins. They look like pins guys. Anyway, we'll chuck some of these in here, and then we'll see how long we can go with this. 
And you can buy these guns and that anywhere online, guys. They're uh, a dime a dozen. Like I say, I don't buy branded stuff. Because I'm miserable. <laughs> right, I hope you check the gauges over there, guys. You can see we're full of air again. So let's see how long we can do this for. Once again, you think I'm not doing anything? Ouch! And again, ouch! And again, ouch! Yeah, it's not ouching. There you go, wrong angle. And then we'll keep going. I think I could do this forever. <laughs> so that just shows you the difference in the air volume that these two different tools need. Don't know what we're up to now. 50 shots, 50 shots. My arm's getting tired. I don't know how many shots guys I lost count, I, don't, I can only count up to about 10, so you know that, but we've got bugger all staples left in here, so there's probably 60, 70 shots at least, so the moral of the story is this is ideal for that, and the big one is also ideal for that, as long as you're not using the big one continuously, you'll get away with it, anyway that's my thoughts, <laughs> and I'm sticking to them. So guys, that was just my little video for the day, another bit of useless information that you didn't need to know. But um, why I'm doing this video, guys, is when I first started, you know, using air compressors and air tools and that sort of stuff, you have no idea what sort of volume you need, especially if you, because everyone's doing different things in their garage. I mean, some people are banging in big nails and some people are only doing little tacks and there's all sorts of things in, and one compressor doesn't fit all, if you know what I mean. But what I found is you go down the big box stores and they'll try and sell you the most expensive one they've got, even though they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Anyway guys, that's enough waffle for Pete today, same as usual, if you like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below guys, we're going to have a bit of a yarn, and we'll see you next time, eh? Pete's Tools.com